Here in the U.S., it's the weather that's making headlines. For the second time in a week, a major winter storm has paralyzed parts of the U.S. Joining us now live from New York is Aaron Aid. Aaron? That's right, Mia. Now, this major winter storm has dumped a fresh layer of heavy, wet snow on cities already choked from previous snowfall earlier this year, and it's made travel perilous everywhere from the Oklahoma panhandle to the Great Lakes. At least three deaths were blamed on the blizzard. The weight of the snow strained power lines and cut electricity to more than 100,000 homes and businesses in the Midwest. The Missouri Department of Transportation issued a rare no travel advisory, urging people to stay off highways, except in cases of dire emergency. It's so heavy, so if you get it where it's only an inch or two, it's not so bad, but if you let it go six inches, it's, it's really bad. Conditions were so bad that even some snow plows slid into ditches, underlining the danger even to the well-equipped travelers. For a second straight week, school children, government workers, and others caught a break as most schools and office buildings were closed. Hospitals closed outpatient centers and urgent care clinics. By noon, the storm had arrived in the Great Lakes with a mixture of blowing snow, sleet, and frigid rain that disrupted most forms of travel. I was in the car and uh, I was having little panic attacks, but I said, I got it. I've been doing this for 23 years. I'm okay. Now, airlines canceled almost 500 flights at Chicago's Midway and O'Hare airports alone on Tuesday. Live in New York, I'm Aaron Aid. Back to you guys. Thanks.